everyone, it's your girl, Nunu the Hair Diva, and I'm back with you with another Shop My Stash video. I am truly enjoying that I am getting these videos done. I am trying out different hairstyles and all this new makeup, so I really hope that you enjoy them. So let's see how fast I can go without any mistakes and getting all this makeup in and making the video as short as possible. All right, you all know the drill. I'm going to show you my face, the makeup, my face, and then we will be done. So let's go on ahead and zoom in. And if I didn't say, this is for Shop Mustache week number 11. Can you believe it? We are 11 weeks into this year. Week number 11, makeup look number one. And I will zoom in now to show you what my face looks like. All right. So here we have the foundation. It's something that I use uh, all the time. We have my brows. I decided to go just a little bit bigger with them. We have the shadow, my lashes, my under eye lash line, mm -hmm. highlight cheek blush, and my lips. <laughs> I said a little high there, didn't I? All right, so I went really lightweight on my eyelashes, meaning I think I forgot to put on uh, the mascara, but that's okay. When you're playing in your makeup, sometimes you forget. So moisturizer on my face, uh, primer on my face. I don't have to show that to you anymore because it's the same thing all the time. For my brows, I'm not going to open them up, but I'm just going to show them to you. We are using the Columbia by the Cargo. It is a shadow uh, in a dark brown. We are using the Nika K uh, lip pencil. This is in the color coffee. You've seen it all the time. That is what I use for my brows to clean them up and for blemishes on my face. I'm using the LA Girl Pro Concealer. This is in the color Toffee. I use that for the brows. This one here is in the color Toast. I use that for my face. Very good concealers. You already know about it. Let's continue on. For the foundation that I have on my face, I am still using the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. We got 355 Coconut and 340 Cappuccino. Cappuccino I use under the eye as a brightener. 355 I use all over. Maybelline fit me. You know about that. Let's continue on. <laughs> For the glow that I am loving, I am still using the philosophy. Take a deep breath. I will try to put a link below because many of you are saying that you are liking the glow that you are seeing on Nunu. Thank you so very much. So I want you to be able to get your hands on it. It doesn't really have a set color. That is the only color, but it is worth it. I promise you. It mixes well with pretty much any foundation that you may have. All right, on to the next. For bronzer, I am using once again my Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess in the number uh, four deep. If you haven't seen it, this is what that color looks like. I just went under the jawbone in the hairline area a little bit of lightweight contour um still getting used to that not knowing if i really need to do that much okay for the blush and highlight for my blush i'm using my milani blush that looks like this this is an 01 romantic rose this is what that color looks like nice and pink to give me a little burst of a flush look but it was a little bit kind of deep on my face even though it's pink so i went over it with uh this limited edition mac lip lip <laughs> mac blush in the color linda and um this is what that color looks like it is a blush but to me it's more like a blush topper it does have a little bit of sheen to it and it's making this blush look like i also have a highlight over it uh what else we always do the lips before i do the eyes and we are going really fast here nunu is liking that 
on my lips I have a LA girl matte flat liquid pigment gloss and this color that we have here is called okay now I gotta put the glasses on I was trying to be cute but you can't be cute when you're behind can't see okay dreamy let's see can you see that there is the name it is called dreamy LA girl matte flat pigment gloss this beautiful pink I really think is very pretty but I didn't want it to be matte I wanted to have a little bit of a glossiness so I picked up this uh, Urban Decay Naked Lip Gloss in the color Naked so it looks like this and the color that you see on the end right here that is the color the name of it is Naked as well all right, I wanted to let you know that I did try out this cover FX in number N60, and I will have to say, if this is what I am going to get, if I decide to purchase the larger one, I don't think I'm going to purchase it. Because uh, N60, I used under the eye, it was just very, very bright, it was kind of thick. I saw my lines and mm -mm, you know don't got time for that so this is an item I probably <laughs> won't be picking up some of the other samples and I'm gonna get back into the face but I just want to let you know some of the other samples I decided not to use um, and I probably will give away but was glad to receive them is this naked uh, powder foundation it's not my color so there's no need of me uh, even messing around with it I have another one of the FX uh, N60 that I will be giving away to someone else. I have the cover FX in N100. I also have this amazing cosmetics uh, concealer. This is in the number medium beige. It is too bright, so it's going away. And then I have this really... Uh, large sample of the Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Foundation. These are just too light for my skin. Here's my hand. Here are the colors. Doesn't work. Won't be using them. All right. So now let's get to these eyes. The eyes I made really simple. I have used here for my eyeshadow primer this Urban Decay Shadow Primer Potion in the color Sin. It is a shimmering champagne. Very, very pretty. For the base on my lid, let's see, let me take this off. For uh, this base color here, I went to my Color Tattoo 24 Hour Number 30 Pomegranate Punk. And can I get it open? Yep. This is what that color looks like. So that is a base for my crease colors. I use two colors and I'll put the lid on that later. The first two colors that I used was this color here, which is called Bandit from ColourPop. I'm trying to use all of the colors and this is called Bandit. The next color that I used was tank and tank is a gray and this is the name of that tank if you haven't seen my swatch video i will link that below um and be mindful i'm giving you my own renditions <laughs> of the colors for the lid color i decided to use cricket there's the name and that is the color and I did use a brush but it wasn't giving me enough so I went over with my uh, fingers and it worked out wonderful for the lower lash line I'm using this Maybelline Master Drama Chromatics and I'm trying to look for the color gotta put the glasses back on let's see the color is uh, turn on the teal and that's the lid and that's what it looks like on the top lash line I'm using my still a waterproof liquid liner to set everything I'm using my Kat Von D lock and low facial mist and I believe that is it so let me show you my face once again we're going to zoom in here you are with the foundation my brows my shadow 
my no mascara lashes <laughs> there you are my lower lash line the highlight under my eyes my cheek blush and topper my lips Ta-da! All right, everyone. Thank you so much for sticking me to the end of this Shop My Stash week number 11. Makeup look number one. I really do appreciate it. I hope this video is short. I'm going to say make sure you look at the end cards. Today's end card shout out is going to be for it rocks i love watching her she uh pretty much goes over all of the tv shows she's very very funny for the last three years she has given me a shout out on her channel many of you don't know that but definitely click on her box for the shout out video you will love it to all be blessed wear your makeup save your money and nuna will see you in a few days with the next video Bye. All right, everyone. I'm back. It is the next day. I just wanted to come and show you the length of my nails. I really appreciate you all um, watching the video from beginning to end and leaving your wonderful comments. These are the lengths of my nails at the moment. It's going to allow me to use my fingers for my ColourPop shadows and to blend out concealer and things like that. Um, I definitely made sure that I left me some length. The culprit was this thumb right here. As you can see, it broke down pretty far. I did try to square them off again. I like my nails kind of square.